Holy crap! No, 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 no. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival on the awesome Project Eden scenario. This is Season 2 of our um, Alpha 11 playthrough. And uh, we are, as promised, picking up right where we left off. It's only been a couple of seconds since I left you in the last episode. And we are now getting ready to enter the decontamination chamber, where we're going to find lots more cuddly things to play with. Uh, so if you guys didn't catch the last episode, uh, basically we are working our way through this... Uh, a facility that was uh, apparently um, contaminated, taken over by aliens, which starts the Project Eden story. And I'm really, really having fun with this. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it's scaring the hell out of me too, which is, which is awesome. <laughs> we had a, we had a couple pretty good jump, jump scares in the last episode, and uh, I'm expecting more to happen. Like there's a sensor right there, so that's probably going to trigger something nasty. I'm sure. All right, let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, decontamination, decontamination in progress, stand by. Oh, that's cool. That's cool how that worked. All right, we got a, a loot crate here, too. Uh, tech, tech one drill, anti-radiation pills, fuel. Okay, good, good. That's all good stuff. Let's transfer that over right now. Oh, tug. All right, let's um, let's reconnoiter here. The drone sets off the exploding blocks, but it doesn't set off the uh, uh doesn't appear to set off the um, the spawners. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff to read in here. Holy smokes! Okay, um, cryopod control. Fourteen eighty two, fourteen eighty one, fourteen eighty, fourteen seventy. Okay, so it looks like we have to start on this side. All right, log fourteen seventy four. While, excuse me, I'm trying to read to the people here. While the containment system. Okay, I've got, <laughs> I've got to turn the game sound down. It is so loud in my ears. It won't be so much for you guys, but for me, it's like I can't. I can't concentrate. All right. While the containment system is working perfectly, there is still concern among some of the staff that contagions could, contagions could get out. I have tried to offer my assurances to those who work under me, but they do not trust me. How do I make them trust me? Um, let's, whoop, let's turn that off. I can't turn my drone light off? Huh, okay, I guess I can't. Uh, there was an incident today. A power spike caused one of the containment force fields to momentarily fail. Dr. Wesson was present to handle the situation with the skill and professionalism I've come to expect. We've since installed power upgrades to prevent further outages. Log 1476. Everyone has been on the edge of, of late. Perhaps we, as of late, perhaps we've been running on too much coffee or not enough. I sent two of the interns to check up on the local Xerox drone base. No change in drone activity. I still wonder why the Xerox abandoned their colonization plans for this place. Perhaps they didn't like the cold. Hmm. Um, Weston has fallen ill. It appears to be a common cold, but he's been confined to quarters as a precaution. Study of the cryopods and the alien creatures contained within continues. They seem to have a fascinating ability to withstand the rigors of the extreme cold. It's possible they could even survive in the harsh vacuum of space itself. I have ordered Dr. Weston transported back to the colony ship as we do not have yet have the medical facilities to properly treat his condition. A fight broke out in the mess hall today. Something about eating the last space fry or some such. I don't have time for this. The security chief better do his job. Log 4079. The alien cryopods we discovered buried in the ice continued to fascinate me. We've detected minute power fluctuations within the pods themselves. Curiously, these power fluctuations occur in all five pods simultaneously. I proposed to the expedition leader that we dis dissect one of the specimens. He agreed, but asked me to write up a risk assessment first. Something about safety protocol. Nah, we don't need no safety protocol. What could possibly go wrong? 
Uh, log 1480, we were prepared to open one of the pods and carefully remove the alien contained within when Security Chief Newern burst into the room and put a stop to it all. Short-sighted men who lack vision. When I demanded to know why, all he'd say was there was an emergency situation and to perform no further research. Hmm. Okay. Uh, un undeterred by yesterday's interruption, I ordered research to resume. There's too much at stake to stop now. The work we're doing here could save humanity. Think of the potential. Think of the life-saving gene therapies we could develop. They say they lost contact with the colony ship, but I fail to see how that has anything to do with my work down here. Log 1482. This will be my final log. The fear mankind has of the unknown has won out today. We have all been ordered confined to our quarters by our commander. They are just afraid, afraid of what I'll discover, afraid of what I must discover. If I had my way, I'd throw them all out into the cold. Small men getting in the way of my greatness. The world will know the name Dr. Chen. Okay. So we've got all these cryopods here, or chambers here, uh, with lots of friendly creatures inside to greet us. Ah, okay. So... You seriously want me to go up here and pull and pull this switch? Man, why do I get myself into these things? Cryo wake sequence initiated. Okay, how about oh 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 shit oh shit. How about if we go over here and just kind of keep watch from a safe distance? Okay, we got a nightmare in there, and a nightmare in there. Oh, is this happening? Oh, shit! Hey, hey, hey! How did that happen? Holy crap! No, 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 no! Oh, he got me! He got me! <laughs> Overseer killed you with a melee attack. He's getting even me with me for making fun of the other one up on the ship. Oh man, where did those guys come from though? They didn't those aliens didn't come out of the the cryopods. They came from a different direction. I was not expecting that. Whew. Okay. Um It's a good thing we're not doing dead is dead anymore, huh? All right, let's uh, spawn at the horizon, of course. Uh what the hell? Oh, <laughs> this might be a problem. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, do something about that. In the meanwhile, though, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to go into god mode to get out of here. Hmm. I wonder if I put that in upside down. Okay, I'll have to fiddle with that later. <sighs> okay, can we get back to our shit in one piece? That's the question. Um, I think we can get to our get our to our stuff with the drone if we get close. Do we still have our? Yeah, we still have our suit on. Okay. Yeah, I, I was not expecting to get rushed by a bunch of aliens from behind. I thought they would all come out of those, you know, those chambers that were opening up. So I wasn't, uh, wasn't quite prepared for that. So let's work our way back to the backpack of Avalok. Avalok is my Steam name and has been my gaming name for years and years. Avalok, uh, the where I found out about that name from, uh, he was the king of Avalon in uh, the Arthurian uh, legend, King Arthur and all that kind of stuff. 
That's where I got the name. Thought it was kind of cool. It's a Celtic name. Alright, hopefully nothing's going to jump out on our way back. We need to start being careful, though, because... Here, let's, uh, let's go back around this corner. This has been stressful. <laughs> it's been stressful. It's been fun, though, dude. Raven Gaming's done an awesome job of this, uh, putting this little story together. But it's been stressful. There's no doubt about it. Um, okay. Let's, uh, I guess we could put that there. And we'll put the, put the food there. Man, I wish we had a sort option in this game. I know I say that all the time, but it doesn't change that I, that I wish that. All right, let's make sure we're loaded here. <clears throat> We've got an overseer's ass to kick. Got to get revenge. I've got a rocket with his name on it. I've got a rocket suppository for that uh, for that overseer. Right up the butt. Let's do this. <laughs> gotcha, sucker! Gotcha! He's a scary mofo, though, man. He's fast, too. Do you see how fast he was coming at me? Good lord. Okay, we looted all this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I I thought everything was going to be coming out of those chambers. And, you know, so we were over there with the drone, and then all of a sudden they're over here attacking me. And I'm like, what the hell? Ugh. All right. Ooh, look what's in there. Nice. Okay, is that... Is that it? Laser rifle. Ooh, that's that's a nice gift. And a minigun. That we're going to have to put directly into the horizon. There. No more spawners. No more spawners. Taking us by surprise. Okay. I think we can maybe breathe a little bit easier now, hopefully. Now that we cut the power to the place. Nutrient solution, oxygen. I'm I'm really glad uh, that we found this place and we we were able to go through the story. You know, even though I prematurely or started it sooner than I should have. Okay, so there's a couple small genies, a bunch of fuel tanks. All right, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure how we're doing on on weight on the ship. We're doing okay on volume, so I don't know if I want to if if I want to loot this stuff right now or not. I mean, we're fine on volume, but we're at 504 tons, so I don't know. It, we're probably okay because it is a capital ship. Um, that should go in. In here. Okay. Alrighty. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's, um... I don't think I'm going to loot anything right now. We're, we're in pretty good shape for materials in general. It's just, uh... The optronic, optronic bridges that we need to find. Okay, so I'm assuming that 
we would have um, gotten a message from the PDA at this point. There, let's just eat one of those. And we'll drink one of these to get a little stamina back. Uh, we, we would probably get a message from the PDA at this point to go find the colony ship, in, in which we've already done. So that was the first thing we did. So we should now be caught up uh, with the storyline. I just keep losing stamina here. And so we're going to go back out. This is the way we came in, right? Yeah. And we're going to go see if we can find the next uh, next thing in the quest. Very, very fun, though. I really enjoyed it. That was great. Scared the hell out of me, too, man. <laughs> I really did. There's something back here? Oh, yeah, we came through that way. So I, everything in here we've already looted. All right. What's down here? Oh, nothing. Okay, so that was the, the generator room. We went in there the last time. Is there anything else? We could always come back here later and salvage stuff if we if we need to. I don't I don't know that we need to do that right now. All right, cool. Let's go. Yeah, we got I got to I think what I'm going to do with this is if we tip it upside down, hopefully that will um not get us stuck in there uh, the next time we bite the dust. That's kind of sad though, man. <laughs> I mean, we went, we went so long with no deaths and then the very first episode after Dead is Dead, we die. I did not plan that, by the way, but <laughs> it's just the way it worked. Oh, man. Shit happens, right? Okay, let's, uh, let's take this guy here and what I, whoops. What I want to do is I want to flip him over and flip him this way. Okay. That should work. Yeah, that should work. I don't know if we'll be on our head, but at least, you know, we'll be able to get out of there. Okay. Is that the right color? Yeah, I think so. All right, guys. Cool. Well, um, it is time to head out and continue. Oh, I put that stuff in the fridge. It's supposed to go in here. Let's have some cheese. Let's have a cheese burger. Om nom nom. That sounds good. Maybe I'll take my wife to Five Guys Burgers tonight. That sounds really good, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. We've got... Man, look at all the heavy armor we got. That is so awesome. Um, we've got four sets of heavy armor plus what we're currently wearing. So we have a total of five sets. And then that medium armor... No, six. Holy crap. Six sets of me heavy armor. The medium, I'll just sell at some point. Um, where's our lock? Let's put these in the locker. Wait. What did I do with them? Did I move? Where did I move those? Oh, to the fridge. <laughs> uh, okay, no, those have to go in my inventory first. Get everything. At least get all the upper um, slots taken up. And then let's go to fridge, because we can't transfer with the wireless into the locker. Oh, look at that. That is just beautiful. Heavy armor for days. We don't... I don't think we have a repair station on the ship either, so even more so, it's good that we got that. Okay, let's take off. 
We're done with this place. Put our shield back on, put our thrusters on. And up, up, and away. Okay, so we need to find a trade station. That's the next thing uh, on the list of stuff to do. So let's look at our PDA again. Solo mission. The infected part two. So part one was must have been what we just did. Is that is this uh, vanilla stuff here? The infected intro snow dwarf progenitors part one ancient history survey part one temper. I don't know because part two it was the colony ship. So I'm assuming there's a separate mission called the infected part one that we would have otherwise uh, been able to do. Oh, you know what? We can activate that. You've had little contact with Terran forces since your arrival in Eden. Find and approach a United Council of Humanity uh, Research Vessel in space. Find out what's going on. You can find UCH research vessels in some middle solar system orbits or near some marked Polaris trade station sectors. UCH transponders are visible at a range of 25 kilometers of space. Make them easy to find. This custom PDA is working for us. All missions are optional in the story as a placeholder. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell by reading that if that's vanilla or if that is Project Eden. Um, Raven, if you're watching this, let me know. But let's just continue on with the infected part two because, I mean, we've already started that. So basically we have to find a trade station in a sector near the snow dwarf planet. Okay. So by sector, I take that to mean other planetary systems. I don't think that means around the orbit of the snow dwarf itself. So, uh, based upon that assumption, let's go ahead and go... We've been in Vardom's orbit. We've been in... T I think we've been into all of these orbits, haven't we? Have we been to uh, Kalein? Well, let's just kind of systematically go to all of them. I mean, it's I suppose it could be in Tainori's orbit, and it just didn't trigger because we hadn't started the quest, maybe. I don't know. But since I don't know, let's just do this systematically. So we're going we're gonna to go back to all of these systems that are neighbors of Thenid, and if that doesn't work, you know, then we've got a really long-ass jump out there and another... Pretty long jump to that planet out there. Okay. All right, let's do this. Not pop. Oh, yeah. Gets me every single time, and I'll probably never remember. <laughs> I'll probably never remember that. Here we go. I'll turn my game sound back up a little bit. Okay, so let's see here. A Polaris carrier, when why that's showing up red and a refinery.
All right, I'm thinking um, this this here said. Um, where did I read that? Okay, UCH transponders are visible at a range of 25 kilometers in space. Does that mean though that the space station is also? I don't think it is visible from 25 kilometers. No, I don't know for sure though. No. Okay. Oh, what are we shooting at? Oh, space drone! Get them, guns! We should probably check that. It could have a power coil or a flux coil in it. I don't know why the Polaris carrier is showing up as um, an enemy to us, because we're in good with the Polaris. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Nice. Got a flux coil, some fuel, and something else. Mechanical components. Okay. Let's just go in um, a little bit f further to the other side and see if anything pops up. Because it's a trading station we're supposed to go to. And that's a carrier and that's a refinery. There's pentaxid asteroids in this system. I don't think that's a pentaxid asteroid. It looks like it. Kind of looks suspicious, though. <sighs> um, let's see. What's the info on this planet? It has Sathium, but it doesn't have Neodymium. I think we find Neodymium on the desert planets anyways. I believe we went to one a couple of times, actually, in the Dead is Dead series. Well, my guess is that the, that the station would show up as soon as we entered the planetary system. I think that's what happens, because we saw both of those immediately as soon as we jumped in. So, based upon that, let's go ahead and lock in our next uh, target here. So, we're going to have to go back to Thenid. I remembered that time. We do have um, a Polaris station in uh, in orbit around Tainori, our our jungle planet. 
so what we could do, we could go back there now, um, and maybe drop some stuff off, except for we, <laughs> we don't really have any more storage space at our base already. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's let's just go back there. Um and just see what happens. That's why we gotta get to tier three because we we're already over CPU as it is on our base, so if I add another storage container, it's just gonna be that much worse. We could make a secondary base, I guess. Like a storage facility. Alright, so that is the trading station. Uh, and, you know, we've been there, of course, but... I guess the only way we're going to find out is if we actually approach it in the quest updates. So let's, uh, let's do that. Alright, guys. We are approaching the trading station. And let's see if uh, anything updates when we get there. If not, maybe we could at least try and sell some of our sellable items. It doesn't look like this is the trading station we are supposed to find. remember where all the traders are if they're up or down so I guess we'll just kind of park on this little du deck here let's back up a little bit more too alright well um, doesn't look like this is where we're supposed to be for the storyline, but like I said, while we're here, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can sell a few, a few things. Welcome to Minotaur Trading Station. Upstairs, down, tr trading. Okay. Living quarters. I don't see any traders down here. There's a food trader. But all any food that we have, I don't want to sell. I want to eat it. <laughs> Here we go. This is what we're looking for. Am I still in range of my ship? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Okay, so you sell mining equipment, so... We could sell medium armor to you and some boosts to you. Wow, look. Oh, no, he's not buying. Uh, he's not buying heavy armor. And what about you? So you have T2 multi-tools, but it doesn't look like you buy T1s. I think the dude, the Polaris station on our planet will buy T1s. Okay, you you have medium armor. I can sell to you for 
33. I think the other one was 40 something, right? So the other one's going to the other one's going to give us more money. You're a medical guy. Okay. Don't really want to sell anything medical. Okay, so let's go back up to the mining uh the mining guy. Oh no, okay. I still think this is higher though, because this is 37 for selling. Wasn't the other guy less than that? Oh god, I can't remember. Let's go check again. Sorry, that's what happens when you get old. You can't remember shit. <laughs> Short term memory loss. Um Yeah, he's he'll only he'll only um do it buy it from us for 33. Okay, so let's grab the medium armors. Um, I'm going to grab all the boosts as well. So stuff we're going to keep, we'll put over on the left. So that we have two armor boosts. And I'm, I want to keep two of each just in case I want to double up on them at some point, you know. Uh, we got two multi-boosts. Temperature. We got two temperature boosts. Um, we should also take into account what we're currently wearing, but let's just sort them out here first. Yeah. See, so he'll he'll actually buy the mobility boost for twenty four thousand, but we can only sell one. Ah, oh, dog on it. Okay. All right. Well, you know what? I'm not gonna. The the rest of them are you know, are gonna be close enough. It's just the mobility one that can be significantly different, and I don't want to waste any more time you know trying to figure this out. So we're just gonna sell them as is. Too much for my brain to remember right now. Oxygen tank boost, radiation protection, EVA. And then we have two jet packs. Oh man, he only wants one though. Darn it. Okay. Okay, so that's it for the boosts. Um, he won't buy our T1, so we're probably going to have to sell that down below. Man, that's expensive. That is so damned expensive. Um, I mean, we, we could actually afford to buy one now, but I don't want to spend all my money on that right now. The T2 projectile pistol we could sell. How many drills do I have? Here, let's, let's sell a drill, too. Oh, we should see if someone will buy these night vision goggles. Multi-tool... T2 Assault. We could keep one extra shot, E, but we don't need two. There's another. So we have an Assault Rifle and two T2 Shotguns and a Drill. So let's sell these. Alright, well, I want to buy... Um, this heavy weapon upgrade kit, so we can upgrade our lo rocket launcher to T2. So we're gonna buy that from him, and then let's sell. Uh, that's all he wants to buy of those. Okay. And then this guy was buying drills, right? Yeah. So we'll sell that extra drill to him. Okay. I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Uh, we can sell, like I said, the T1 multi-tools on the planet all right guys well that's it for this episode hope you guys enjoyed this episode uh, i do want to make a quick announcement i am i am going to be um out of town on a business trip where's my ship that's right there um this all this week and so this so loud this video should release uh, on Friday, and I will be back um, the following Sunday. So, you know, two days after that, basically. And then, uh, as soon as possible, after I do get back, then we'll resume and keep making uh, more episodes. But uh, you might not see um, the next episode after this until maybe somewhere around the middle of the week next week. 
uh, well, it just depends upon how, how the schedule goes. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.